Good morning guys, it is 4.30 a.m. and I am on my way to see the sunrise over Anchor Watch. I got up before the crack of dawn to witness one of the most spectacular sunrises in the world. And instead, this is what I saw. This guy's setting up this painting shop. More people than blades of grass. But this is not a unique situation. Most of the world's greatest sites, like Angkor Wat, which are located in easily accessible countries like Cambodia, are tourist havens. But if you've ever been to any famous landmark, then you don't need me to tell you all of this. I do, however, find it quite funny because nobody ever talks about the swarms of tourists while traveling. What you see on Instagram is not even close to what you see in real life, unless you're way off the beaten path, like these rock paintings in Somaliland. There, I was completely alone. What does it all mean? The reality is, we wait in line for hours and hours on end to get the perfect shot, like at the Taj Mahal or Machu Picchu. I'm guilty of it too. But while it may seem like tourists ruin your travel experience, I'm here to make the opposing argument. Yes, tourists are sometimes annoying to be around, but they do not ruin travel. Firstly, if you look at the big picture in an unselfish perspective, tourism is great for any local economy, especially struggling ones. Just think, 2 million people come to Siem Reap every Every year, those two million people are consistently pumping money into the society, which in turn builds better roads, more schools, and offers thousands of more jobs. We are on the northwest of the country. But putting the economic impact of tourism aside, you need to realize that tourists flock to places for a reason, because they are that amazing to see. If you also want to see the most interesting places on our planet, then you must be alongside the tourists. Plain and simple. It's a huge pet peeve of mine when people say bad things about a place because it's too touristy, like Bali. If you feel that way, then don't go. Stop complaining. If you don't want to be surrounded by tourists, then go wander the back alleys of Djibouti or get lost in the Ugandan jungle and enjoy yourselves. So that's my two cents on travel and tourism, and I've been wanting to get this off my shoulders for a while. What are your thoughts? I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.